How to use USB port on Netgear router To connect a USB device Connect your USB storage device to the router USB port If your USB device uses a power supply, connect it When you connect the storage device to the router's port, it might take up to 2 minutes before it is ready for sharing. By default, the device is available to all computers on your local area network, LAN. Launch a web browser from a computer that is connected to the network. In the address field of the browser, enter backslash backslash readies here. Windows File Manager automatically opens and displays the files and folders on the device. Select Advanced USB Storage Advanced Settings. Select the FTP checkbox. FTP lets you send and receive large files faster. Map a USB device to a Windows network drive. Visit downloads.netgear.com The redisharaconnect.exe file is downloaded to your computer. Select the drive letter to map to the network folder. Click the finish button. The device is mapped to the drive letter that you specified. Access storage devices through the internet. You can access a USB device through the internet when you're not home. In basic home screen displays, select advanced advanced setup dynamic DNS. Select the use a dynamic DNS service checkbox. Enter your dynamic DNS account. In the host name field, type the host name for your account. Click the apply button. Your changes are saved. To verify that your dynamic DNS service is enabled in the router, click the show status button. A message displays the dynamic DNS status. To access devices from a remote computer. Select Advanced USB Storage Advanced Settings. Select the HTTPS via Internet checkbox. Select the FTP via Internet checkbox. Click the Apply button. Your changes are saved. Then you can access your data through the Internet.
Backup Windows computers with Ready Share Vault. Your router comes with free backup software for all the Windows computers in your home. To backup your Windows computer, connect a USB HDD to the router USB port. Download ReadyShare Vault from www.netgear.com slash readyshare and install it on each Windows computer. Launch ReadyShare Vault. Use the dashboard or the backup tab to set up and run your backup. Choose data you want to back up. The data already to back up. And this way to restore your data when be lost. The router can act as a ready DLNA media server, which lets you view movies and photos on DLNA slash UPNPAV compliant media players, such as Xbox 360, PlayStation, and Netgear media players. Select Advanced USB Storage Media Server. The media server settings screen displays. Share a storage device attached to the router. To enable this device to act as a media server, select the Enable Media Server checkbox. Share a USB printer. On each computer on your network that shares the USB printer, install the driver software for the USB printer. Use a USB printer cable to connect the USB printer to a router USB port. Download the ReadyShare printer utility. Visit www.netgear.com slash readyshare. Follow the on-screen instructions to download the file. You must install the ReadyShare printer utility on each computer that will share the printer. Follow the wizard instructions to install Netgear USB Control Center. After you install it, the utility displays as Netgear USB Control Center on your computer. After the install shield wizard completes the installation, the Netgear USB control center prompts you to select a language. Select the printer and click the connect button. 
then you can print your documents. Thanks for watching, don't forget like and subscribe.